Blackburn Rovers hoping to give you guys a nice Christmas present this year as they take on Rochdale at Ewood Park. We'll talk about that match and more on today's show. <laughs> That's right folks, back once again with another match preview. Now before we get stuck into the thick of things, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. Yes, oh before I also get stuck into it, Santa Claus has given me a, a nice early Christmas present that I'll keep wrapped until the Boxing Day game and we'll open it together. Just you and me, yeah? Just you and me. We'll open that bad boy there. But for now, I'm going to put it near the fire. Hopefully it won't melt. But yes, Blackburn Rovers take on Rochdale for the third time this season. Uh, we've already met in the league and we've already met in the Checker Trade Cup. So let's take a little bit of look at the closer at this fixture itself. Uh, it's going to take place obviously on Boxing Day uh, last season, if you don't recall. Rochdale finished ninth. They're currently they're not doing too well. They're 23rd in the table. Uh, but it is quite tight at the bottom. A win could get them as high as 18th if everything else goes their way. Top goal scorer is Ian Henderson with 10 goals. And the man pulling the strings, former Blackburn Rover, Keith Hill, has always been linked with the job whenever it comes up. Over the years, Blackburn Rovers have met Rochdale 16 times in all competitions at all grounds. And they topped the table with 10 wins, 3 losses and 3 draws, obviously. Rochdale with the 10 defeats. So over the last 5 meetings at Ewood Park, it looked like this last time out. Blackburn Rovers were the 6-1 winners. Uh, that was a League Cup match back in uh, September 2000. Uh, before that, it was a 4-1 win also in the League Cup. Blackburn Rovers picking up that win back in August 76. Uh, the last time Rochdale picked up a win was all the way back in 1972. Once again in the League Cup, they were 1-0 winners. So let's take a look at my predicted style of 11 from Blackburn Rovers. Ryan and Gold, Caddis. I brought him in because I thought Nyambis have been having a couple of couple of shockers recently, so Caddis deserves a nod. Downing, Mulgrew, I'm hoping he's back in there. Williams, also Bennett returns. Smallwood, Evans also back in the lineup. Bradley Dack. Dominic Samuel hopefully returns up front and Marcus Antonison. Yes, he did have that shockering miss in the penalty, but he does give it 100% and maybe, just maybe, he, uh, he'll he make a, make amends this time at Ewood Park. So a couple of absentees from there. Woodstone dropped, Conway dropped, Elliot Ward dropped, Ryan Nayimbi dropped, and Danny Graham also dropped. So they'll they're all, all move to the bench, I assume. Uh, but this is just my prediction. Obviously, you never know what Tony Mowbray has up his sleeve. Meanwhile, let's take a look at the statistics for Blackburn Rovers. Now we have a clear goal-scoring leader. Bradley Dagg there with nine goals. Charlie Mulgrew's there with eight. It would have been nine. I'm sure it would have been if he was on the pitch um, on Saturday. So Dominic Samuel also on eight. Marcus Antonison also on eight. Into the discipline. Richard Small's got seven yards. Elliot Bennett's got five. Corey Evans has got five. And Derek Williams has got four. Into the reds. Bennett still tops the lead there. He doesn't really want to be. But he's got two reds. Sam has got one. wharton has got one. And Harper has got one. Let's take a look at the form book. Last five games for Blackburn Rovers. Obviously, it was that smudge. A recent, a hot off the press smudge against Northampton Town. 1-1 one, one draw. Before that, it was a 2-0 victory against Charlton at Ewood Park. Uh, before that, 13th of December. 1-0 victory at Gresty Road in the FA Cup. Impressive 3-2 victory. Uh, away at Peterborough. Before that, was another smudge. 3-3 draw against Crew Alexander. But we did. We were down to nine men. Up against 12. Going into this match in a bit of form. We'll talk more about that in just a second. But let's take a look at how um, Rochdale will line up. Lillis in goal. Rafferty, McGahey, Daniels, Bunny at the back line. Into midfield. Rathbone, Camps as a player we've been linked with in the past. Over the summer especially. Uh, Williams, Dunn. Henderson, there he is with 10 goals score, 10 goals this season, and Andrew. Uh, let's take a look at statistics of them. Henderson, like I said, six, uh, 10 goals. Dunn's in there with six. Inman's in there with six. And Davies has five. Into the discipline for Rochdale. Bunny's got six yellows. McNulty's got five. Williams has got five. And Rathbone's there with four. Into the Reds, only two guys with red cards. Keane's got one, and Henderson has one. Let's take a look at the form book for Rochdale. Going into this with uh, uh, kind of a... A uh, bit of a bland looking form. They've only won one in five, but they've also lost one in five. So uh, last time out, they picked up a 1-1 draw at home to Walsall. Before that, they picked up a home draw against Oxford. Their last away match was a seven-goal thriller, but they were on the, the wrong end of that, losing 4-3 to Bradford City. Before that, they picked up a, an impressive away win at Slough in the FA Cup. But before that, they had a draw, which can also be considered a win. Uh, in the Checker Trade Cup. They're still in the Checker Trade Cup. Um, so they'll be they'll be looking to make that run 
count. Now, as I mentioned uh, towards the stop at the top of the show, this is the third encounter um, for Blackburn Rovers and Rochdale in the league, or earlier in the in the Checker Trade Cup back on seventh of November. Blackburn were held to one one draw to Rochdale, but subsequently we lost on penalties. Before that, all the way back to September the 9th, we won three nil at Spotland. So. We're going to be familiar opposition for Rochdale, uh, but hopefully we can go in with the mentality that we had when we when we took took on them at their place in the league, because uh, that was an impressive. That was one of the most impressive performances Blackburn had this season. Um, um, and but this is the on the flip side. This is a home game, and we haven't been playing our best. But uh, below that chart, we've got the we've got the the unbeaten run, uh, which I think stretches back to 15 games. Uh, depending on how you look at it. Right in the middle of that, you've got a big black D for draw. That was the game against Rochdale in the uh, Checker Trade Cup uh, when we subsequently lost after 90 minutes. So I don't know how you want to, how you look at it. If we're unbeaten in 15 or uh, if we're unbeaten in since that, since that smudge. But it's an impressive, uh, it's an impressive run. Hopefully, let's get back to, and make the next one a W, and then hopefully a couple more Ws after that. Occasionally, <laughs> I'll have a talk <laughs> on the uh, match previews, and today I've got a little bonus for you. It is Tony Mowbray once again talking after the Northampton match, but this is actually un unheard audio. So sit back, take note, and enjoy this bit. Well, I think we only need to think about the first one and um, not worry what's after the next game. Um, we left it. We have to focus everything we've got on um, on Rochdale Boxing Day. And we're important to to bounce back and get the three points. Um, you know, I don't see the teams at the top falling away. They've got to. They'll keep going. I'm pretty sure. And so um, we have to keep right on the heels. We have to. You know, we have to put pressure on Shrewsbury and, and ultimately Wigan if we can. But. Um, yeah, so it's all about us really. The boys are disappointed today. We we worked worked hard, um, but as I say, it wasn't really the same intensity for, for reasons out of our control a little bit. But um, we we take the point and we move on. Yeah, well his, his suspension's finished now. Let's wait and see. He's got to um, try and impact the team. Um, but hopefully he comes back like a bundle of energy that he is and um, and gives us some drive. And um, let's see if he can help us get three points in the next game. Um, mixed really, I think. Um, obviously, took some time to acclimatise to it. Um, but I think once we've acclimatised to it, we've done okay. We've been frustrated a couple of times at home by teams, um, and early on didn't really perform in, in, in a few games away from home. A bit like today. Early on, we might have lost this game, but I do think they've got a bit of resolve now about them and a bit of desire not to lose games, even when they're not playing well. So, um, which is a good trait to have. So um, let's see what the next game brings. You know, I don't think nobody should get carried away. Nobody should get ahead of themselves. Every game is difficult in this league. But what we do know is that the team will give everything every match and um, and try and get the three points in every game. So over the years, a number of players have played for Blackburn Rovers and Rochdale. Here are just a couple of them. First out of the blocks, Jack O'Connell. Yeah, he never really made the grade for Blackburn Rovers, but I think he made a few appearances for Rochdale. Uh, and the other guy is this fella jordan rhodes that's right i don't know if you guys remember jordan rhodes he was a bit of a bit of a goal scorer back in his day uh, he used to play for rochdale when he was uh, i think he was there on loan i think it was maybe five appearances he did score a couple of goals uh, but obviously remembered more proficiently at blackburn rovers because he was a bit of a goal scoring dynamo uh, but that completes the play for both for rochdale if you have missed the the uh the away leg where there was a couple other players in there might as well head over to my wordpress website check out the full list right there in all its glory uh, so you heard what the cat had to say and you heard what i've had to say but what's been going on on social media well there's not much to be honest with you there are a little couple of little tidbits but uh it's pretty boring reading because the games are so uh tight and back to back people are still talking about the northampton game but anyway there is a little bit of banter out there uh kevin bromley said great win today now on to boxing day six pointer away at wigan come on you blues all aboard the ludlow shrews party bus obviously that was a Shrewsbury fan. Uh, and then Jack Earnshaw, who's the Blackburn Rovers fan, chipped in and says, Wigan will beat you. We will beat Rochdale. We'll climb to second. You'll drop to third. Happy New Year. So that's a little bit of a dig at both Shrewsbury and Rochdale. Double whammy. And 
So a lot of guys are having trouble out there trying to get to the uh, Blackburn game uh, against Rochdale. Uh, here are a few of the posts out there. Hi guys, if any Rovers fans in Blackpool area going to the Rochdale game on Boxing Day, can you give me a lift there and back please? Inbox me, can pay off your costs. Thanks for reading guys, come on you blues. Meanwhile, John Maloney also said, flying over from Ireland 24th of December into Manchester, going to Rochdale game 26th. Anyone know if there's a bus or train from Manchester to Blackburn? 26th. Thanks. Meanwhile, Rick Ashton had this little dig at Rochdale's away support. Rochdale bringing such a big following, they have had to add a minibus to their one coach. Also on social media, Sport Bible, amongst others, uh, reporting uh, that Joe Thompson, uh, the Rochdale player, returned to action, first team action for the first time in a while after beating cancer twice. He played the final 18 minutes of the game against Warsaw. And it is a truly remarkable story. Uh, so he should and could feature in the game against Blackburn Rose. I'm hoping that he has a good day. And, uh, you know, it is it is, it's, it's a, it is an inspiring story. The guy has fought, and, uh, fought back and, uh, and, and, and made a, such a recovery. But um, uh, as much as I, I, I wish him well, I still hope he doesn't walk away with three points against, against Blackburn Rovers on Saturday. You heard what the gaff had to say. You heard what I had to say. You've even had to say yourself. But all of that doesn't matter. What really matters is what Cast the Cat thinks will happen between Blackburn Rovers and Rochdale. pretty much all I've got for you today folks if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already make sure you hit the subscribe button keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers games are coming thick and fast and we are in this will be game two of four the review will be shortly after the final whistle stay tuned for that bad boy uh, I want to give a big shout out to the guys of the BRFCS forum if you haven't done so already make sure you check that forum out link in my description below it's a good opportunity for you to chat with fellow rovers from around the world and i'm also on twitter and facebook if you want to check me out details of those uh social platforms are in the description below so fingers crossed we can get back to winning ways at ewood park and take another three points away from rochdale and maybe just maybe wigan will do us a favor by beating shrewsbury and we can squeeze into the top two before the end of the year anyway until next time thumbs up subscribe Ciao for now. thanks again for watching please like share and most importantly hit that subscribe button it'll keep you bang up to date with all things blackburn rovers but if you want to check out something completely different head over to my other youtube channel you do that by pressing the button right there if you want to check me out on twitter facebook details are in the description below so until next time thumbs up subscribe Ciao for now